Here's a simple program that uh, some AP physics students uh, developed to help them uh, understand, uh, demonstrate their understanding as well as refine their understanding of uh, electric fields around a, a charge. So uh, this is using vPython. We'll take the program the code and just drag it here into vPython. And this is what their program looks like. And uh, the prompt here was to compute an electric field of charge or electric field surrounding a large, thin uh, sheet of charge and display the representative set of electric field vectors. And uh, what you see before you is uh, a small computer program that utilizes the formulas uh, for this particular field of science, uh, field of physics, uh, represented in a way uh, that the computer can can calculate this. So uh, the students develop this uh, methodology with the help of their their teacher, uh, Nick Park, and uh, this is what they came up with. The Python allows them then to visualize uh, this. Uh, the beauty of this is that this is something you otherwise couldn't see. Uh, let's enlarge this so we can see a little bit better. And as this is running, uh, you'll notice Turn it so we can uh, go ahead and rotate this. You'll notice that the uh, the charges here are uh, field of charge is actually uh, being mapped on this, being plotted on this diagram, this 3D diagram. And uh, let's zoom in a little bit. And you'll notice that as you get closer to the sheet of charge here, the magnitude, which is represented by the size of the arrow, increases. Also notice that the vector changes as you get closer to the ends of the sheet of charge. You'll notice that uh, the vectors uh, begin to uh, angle around the ends. And that will become more obvious as to why when this starts to uh, put the vectors on the other side or put the uh, fields of charge on the other side of the sheet. So the beauty of this is that uh, students are able to take a concept and then um, work that concept as a mental model and then test it in a, uh, in a 3D world where they can uh, begin to represent their understanding. And of course, if uh, their understanding isn't correct or if they don't get the math correct, then of course the model doesn't work and uh, they have to refine that. So this is a, a wonderful way for the students to be able to visualize uh, rather abstract uh, concepts within uh, the field of physics. Uh, this is also uh, very relevant in that uh, physicists, uh, much of what we know about modern physics today is actually done through uh, cognitive computing and mental modeling, uh, modeling the uh, the ideas and principles that they're they're struggling with. So uh, here you go. This is a just one sample of uh, vPython being used as a cognitive modeling tool, cognitive computing tool in an AP physics course.